Uh, the main reason why the action was called was because of the fear and anger that was very, very valid as based in uh, those hate crimes. Uh, so we want to make sure that people know uh, that these fears are valid, these fears are real. So one goal is to give students a voice for this. Uh, the other uh, is to encourage the university to take some concrete steps and to work with us uh, to make things safer for students. media has really blown up an image of what Trump's ideas are about that. I think as a person, he's a really good guy and in his operations and business, he employs a lot of a lot of races. It's not this this white nationalist that they're they're speculating him to be in the media. If you really got down and looked at what he advocates as, you know, a presidential candidate, there's a lot of things that are very respectful and very knowledgeable the same with Hillary but the fact is he was elected and there's really nothing we can do I'm here with Kevin Goodwin and Nick Wilder they're two Donald Trump supporters guys what is your response to a lot of the negative criticism that's come to the president-elect well honestly this right here is embarrassing these are a bunch of grown adults um, that are crying and complaining just because they didn't get their way and um, it's just good to, you know, let them know that that's not how politics work and that's not how life works. So saying, you know, get over it is sort of um, the message we're trying to send here today. Yeah, I mean, I would, I would agree with that, too. But I think a, a, a big thing is, like, the, the protests are, I think we've gone a little bit out of hand. If you go back to, like, Martin Luther King, these, those were silent protests. Those were very peaceful. And now we're burning the American flag, which I think is a total disgrace. Yeah, and... Now, do you, do you guys believe in, in this kind of movement and, and what these people feel? And uh, do you guys, you know, feel any any grievance with them and um, support them as well? Um, I mean, obviously, it's good to see the the passion for your country. Um, you have the right to do that. They do. Right free speech is 100%. free speech is the best speech, and um, the fact that they're protesting shows that they we'll care. Never be divided. The people united will never be divided. I think that's what this can accomplish is just kind of letting people know that you're not alone, that you have allies that are standing there and supporting you and that really at the end of the day, what this whole election, even as scary as it is, what it comes down to is that it comes down to the people, you know, it's all about we the people and that we have to make it that way. We have to make sure that we're, you know, we're forwarding that progress and we're standing together and standing strong together so that, you know, there's only so much they can do in office if we stand together. Also that it's okay to be scared and that it's, it's not... So many people have been invalidating it and saying that, you know, just get over it or move on. People standing up saying, hey, this is not okay. And that's what I'm doing here. We're trying to send the message of peace. We're trying to send a message of love that we won't be beaten down by hate and this agenda that Trump and Pence have been uh, pushing at us for the past 16 months in this election. We are trying to just, again, love Trump's hate. That's all this is about, in my opinion. Say it clear. Refugees are welcome here. Say it loud.